so today in this video we will be talking about the degradation of heme which starts in the spleen so spleen is known as the graveyard of erythrocytes so as from the name it is clear that the death of erythrocyte takes place inside the spleen so inside the spleen when the erythrocyte dies it releases out its uh, heme part of hemoglobin so heme is the non proteinaceous portion or part of hemoglobin so the non protein part of hemoglobin that is heme is composed of porphyrin ring and iron at its fe2 plus state so in this heme structure if we notice the m here denotes the methyl group so the m denotes the methyl group so we also have pr which denotes the propionyl group and in the latter structures we can see the v so this v denotes this vinyl group so v denotes this vinyl group and some other structures also contains e which denotes the ethyl group in the latter part of this video so you can see that so now start with the heme so first of all what happens is that oxidation of heme happens so this oxidation of heme takes place at this point so the oxidation takes place at, at this point so this oxidation is done by the enzyme heme oxygenase so heme oxygenase the oxygenase part so this oxygenase group of enzyme does what it oxidizes its substrate using the molecular o2 so oxidation takes place at that site which releases out that carbon the linking carbon and the carbon is oxidized to carbon monoxide so that carbon is oxidized to carbon monoxide and the breakdown of that porphyrin ring occurs so when that porphyrin ring breaks the ferrous ion fe2 plus releases out and these two ends get oxidized to ketone so this ferrous fe2 plus when released out it is quickly absorbed by by ferritin so ferritin protein uh, is the uh, storage house you can say for the iron so fe2 plus binds to ferritin and gets stored so after that what happens that the cyclic or the ring structure of porphyrin opens into a linear structure now it is known as biliverdin which is a greenish in color some somewhat greenish in color so biliverdin is greenish in color so now this biliverdin get reduced so the reduction takes place by the enzyme biliverdin reductase so the so the reduction occurs of the biliverdin into bilirubin so this biliverdin reductase causes reduction and this reduction occurs by the reducing ag agent nadph so the nadph causes the reduction and tr and uh, transfers it h hydrogens into the biliverdin and reduces it so by adding hydrogens this red colored hydrogens uh, it reduces the biliverdin into bilirubin so bilirubin now is present inside the blood so bilirubin now is present inside the blood which was reduced by biliverdin reductase so now this uh, bilirubin is a yellow colored yellowish in color and what happens is that the reduction happens of the biliverdin which converts the biliverdin into bilirubin so at this position the hydrogens are added which converts the biliverdin into bilirubin the reduced form so now inside the liver with the help of an enzyme known as glucuronyl bilirubin transferase so with the help of this enzyme inside the liver the bilirubin is converted into a solid form a more soluble form which is known as bilirubin diglucuronide as before bilirubin was very much insoluble almost insoluble in water or also we can say blood because blood is mostly made of water so bilirubin diglucuronide was uh, bilirubin diglucuronide now now it is soluble in water so now it is soluble in blood and before bilirubin was insoluble so now the soluble form of bilirubin uh, through the bile goes into the intestine so in inside the intestine this bilirubin diglucuronide which is much more water soluble it is get converted into some other form so this bilirubin diglucuronide which is which is much more soluble goes to the intestine so this bilirubin diglucuronide pigment 
goes to the small intestine so this is small intestine so inside this small intestine this bilirubin diglucuronide gets converted into urobilinogen so this urobilinogen is the converted form of di uh, diglucuronide bilirubin so this bilirubin diglucuronide get converted into urobilinogen by the action of some microbial enzyme so by the action of some microbial enzyme which is present inside the intestine the bilirubin diglucuronide gets converted into urobilinogen so this urobilinogen now in the intestine is deabs inside the bloodstream so this urobilinogen through the bloodstream it get reabsorbed and goes into two pathways so first of all it get reabsorbed into the bloodstream and gets converted into urobilin so let me clear it out so some of the urobilinogen is deabsorbed in the bloodstream where it goes to the kidney and get converted into urobilin which gives the color of our urine that is the yellow color but what happens is that some of the urobilinogen get uh, retained inside the intestine so some of it remains in inside the intestine and get converted into stercobilin which gives the color of our stool which is reddish brown in color okay so from the beginning what we have seen that the heme converted into bilirubin then to bilirubin and then to bilirubin diglucuronide and where it is uh, converted into urobilinogen after it reaches the intestine so inside the intestine it is converted into urobilinogen and it goes into two pathways where uh, inside the kidney it is converted into urobilin and some of it remaining in the intestine get converted into stercobilin so stercobilin gives the color of our stool that is the feces so uh, these two structures of urobilin and stercobilin i have given in this uh, figure so if you are interested so these are the structures of stercobilin and urobilin so what we have learned from the beginning that heme is converted to bilirubin by the action of heme oxygenase and then to bilirubin by the action of bilirubin reductase and ultimately it get converted into into some compounds which gives the color of our urine and feces So in the next video we'll be discussing the formation or the synthesis of heme. So heme synthesis will be our next video. Till then stay subscribed and do subscribe if you have not done and please give a like to this video. Stay healthy. Bye.